Hello there, my YouTube friends and fans. Welcome to Brazon Warfare. Well, this is a short visit because I can't really post any new Grayzone Warfare videos in the moment because since the last hotfix, this game has become completely unplayable on GeForce Now. I have done some research. A lot of people have reported this issue and there is really nothing that we can do right now besides just sit back and wait until this game gets better and i hope eventually this game will come to console because then i will be able to play this game a lot better anyway because on the pc it's there's just so much instability and even later i think when it will be fully released it might still have the same issues those issues usually do not exist on console so we'll see what happens but here is basically how it looks right now so as you can see it takes forever for the graphics to load like forever and usually you can't do anything anyway before the graphics load usually when this happens as soon as the graphics load the game is fine but right now it's very janky it seems like the character moves like every 10 frames or something that's probably not true but that's how it feels like it feels i i know already at this point there's no way i can play this game but i thought i'm just gonna go and poke around a little bit and see if I can play around with the settings a little bit like I have it maxed the cap is at 60 frames per second which is something that somebody recommended and that helped me a lot that actually made it super playable before this hot patch or hot fix I was able to play this game pretty well yes it did kick me out of the server a few times and I lost all my gear and that was frustrating but at least I could play the game and I had fun but right now it's like, you know, I turn it down to 30 frames per second. I, the, the cap at 30 frames, um, the background at 30 frames. And you can see I can move, but it's, it's like, I don't have 100% control over the character at this point. It's kind of, sometimes I can turn, sometimes I cannot. And it's just kind of chanky. So sometimes I could just walk straight forward, but not to the left or the right. So it's, it's very, it makes me dizzy just looking at it. And I'm sure it will make you dizzy looking at this. It's crazy. But I was just so desperate to get this game to work. But you can see the game looks good. I have one gig of uh, up and download on my fiber internet. So the internet is not an issue. I have no problems with any other games. It's literally just this game. And uh, yeah. So it's too bad because I really wanted to get to know this game better and get better at this game because I am still a, a total noob at this game. And uh, yeah, so can't get better if I can't play it. I then went in and selected a different server like US East, which worked very good for me before. Actually, all the US servers I tried worked or didn't work. It depended on, you know, which day. And I uh, was hoping that maybe this time it will work. But I'm here again here. This time the graphics load a little bit faster. But I literally can't move my character at all. I can't move my character. I can't even go into the settings or to the menu or anything. It's like everything is frozen, but the the graphics, you can see there's a character moving around. The character in front of me seems to be frozen too. I'm not sure the water moves, but I can't move and I cannot interact with the game in any way whatsoever. So the only way for me to get out is by just absolutely force quitting GeForce now. Well, actually, I, I can see now some of the graphics came in just now. But even then, you would think at this point, you should be able to move, but I can't move at all. I'm pressing every single button there is, and I cannot move. And I've tried this before, and I had the same issue that's on this particular server, the US East. Uh, but no matter what server I select, and I tried a few, 
I have issues everywhere. They're just different types of issues, but they're all in a state where the game is definitely not playable, especially not a game like this, where you have to have very good performance in order to perform well yourself in the game. So I'm just going to wait, as I mentioned earlier, until, you know, maybe wait a few weeks or even a couple of months and see what happens with the game and then try again. Who knows? I mean, they're still working on it. It's still in alpha, so that's to be expected. I just wanted to give this little update in case anyone wonders why I don't post any new Grayzone Warfare videos. Well, that's it. Until next time, see ya.